So in today's video, I'm going over three videos I submitted for a film competition way back in 2013. Man, that seems like forever ago. So let's go ahead and get started. You suck at this game. Shut up. Seriously, are you even trying? It's the controls. Yeah, okay. Blame the controls. <laughs> Are you like me now? You didn't even finish your pie! Baby! I love you. I know. So all three of these videos are submission for the MOGA video contest back in 2013. And the judges were the guys from Corridor Digital and Ryan Conley from the film, right? And the winner would have gotten a red camera. I believe it was the Scarlet or the Dragon. I can't remember which one it was. But regardless, it was the winner got a red camera. And each round, there were three of them, you'd have to submit a video that had a certain theme to it. And each of them had a three requirements that you had to include in your video. And for this one, it was dealing with like the troubles of mobile gaming, how the, the on-screen controls never really worked well. Because Moga is a company that makes uh, video game controls for your cell phone and your tablet so you can sync them up and play video games with that controller and not have to deal with the on-screen controls. So th this theme of this video was dealing with that, that, like, that problem. And I think the three requirements for this one was a cat, a pie, and a famous movie quote. You can go back and watch the video and pick out all three of those really easily for this one. There's a lot that I liked about this video. The dialogue flows really well and I have a half decent performance. I think this one my better performances out of all the videos we've done. The editing is very natural. It helps it helps sell the dialogue a lot. I'm kind of oddly proud that I was able to make our uh, one bedroom apartment that we're filming this in feel like three different spaces. Our kitchen, our living room, and my workspace where you can see me on my computer. It was all in one room because we had one bedroom apartment and I shot it in a ways that it made it feel like three different rooms. However, what held this video back, I think, was its simple concept. You really need to think outside the box for this competition because it was very tight. And the submission that won this round was incredible and it was so creative. A big reason why I don't do competitions like this much anymore is because of the time constraint. You have such, so little time to come up with a concept and turn around into a final project. You usually get like a week or two or at most a month to do a project. And I like to take my time with my videos and just make them the best that they could be, both in story-wise and just final project product. And there's a trouble I run into with competitions like this, and especially this one, because I think you only got like, I think a couple of weeks to turn it around. And bottom line, I think if I had more time with this one, I would come up with something a bit more creative and a lot more time to work on and make it the best that it could be. We are coming to you live as we're getting word of an explosion in Raccoon City. We are currently unsure of the cause of the incident, but stay tuned for continuing coverage. Now getting reports of mass murders all over Raccoon City. Citizens are encouraged to stay indoors for their safety. Keep your phone charged. We're gonna go all Resident Evil. So for this video submission, you had to deal with some kind of cell phone dying and the three requirements was incorporating bacon, 
a musical instrument and a video game reference. And I like how subtly I peppered in the requirements throughout the video. And it doesn't, it doesn't like overpower you and it's not so glaring. Like here's the requirements. So I'm, I'm glad that I was able to like just really hide those in and this, it doesn't overpower the tone of this video. And this is probably one of my favorite videos that I've ever done because I really love that I went for the tone, especially in the color grading because I was going for like the sickly like horror vibe. I love how the editing kind of helps out the cinematography in this one because you're not on a shot too long that everything has to be perfect. And this idea of a trailer film, I'm gonna revisit again at some point because I love that you, you can tell a story within like a trailer of a video, but not everything has to be like cohesive or the continuity really doesn't matter because it's a trailer. But aside from the editing and the tone, I think what really sells this video is the performances that everybody gives. My wife, again, gives a phenomenal performance. My friend who's the first zombie that you see in this video does a really good job as well. And he really committed to his role because that one shot, of him being pinned behind the door. We did like three or four takes of that and they really went for it with that. So I'm really glad that everybody was so into this video and it really helped the tone out a lot, especially my wife who is always an amazing performer. But I think the biggest problem with this video is I don't think I conveyed the concept well enough. I don't think anybody got that if your cell phone dies, you become this mindless zombie. And of course it's a play on like how we rely on cell phones too much nowadays. And if had I done it again, I probably would have like added like another piece of dialogue to sell a bit more or done some sort of like visual effect to make like the zombies feel look a little more like sickly or like pale or just something like that. But aside from that, I really liked how this video turned down. It's just, it's just one of my favorite videos that I've ever done. I promise I will come and visit you soon. <laughs> Burritos was a bad choice today. Oh, nothing. I was just, uh, hello? Again? Piece of shit. Hello, wireless user. I'm the cell phone fairy. Here to give you the cell phone you so desperately need. Brand new phone? Brand spanking new. No way. When you wish upon a star. I won't be needing this paperweight anymore. Alrighty. One iPhone 5 coming right Wait, up. What? I'm sorry. Did you want a 5S? I didn't want any iPhone. I'm more of an Android user. But everything Apple makes is better. It's not even remotely true. They're so easy. Just because it's easier doesn't make it better. Hey, listen. I mean, if you make it so that stupid people can use it, only stupid people are gonna buy it. Listen here, you narrow-minded f I offer you a brand new iPhone, and you insult the great Steve Jobs? I don't think so. You're gonna take whatever phone I give you, or I'm gonna shove it so far down your throat, every time you get a call, it'll make you piss your pants! Shazam! Wait a second, this is... Awesome. That's what this is. Wonderful. So this upgrade requires a new two-year agreement with a qualifying voice and data plan. Geographic usage and other terms, conditions, and restrictions apply. So obviously the, for this submission, you had to do a video that dealt with iPhone users versus Android users. And I think their three requirements were burritos, a helmet and another movie quote. But this video is a case where I love the concept. I just didn't execute it all that well. The shot coverage is just painfully basic and I hate how the character's eye lines don't match up all that well. I think it just kills the effect and I wish I would have shot like an over the shoulder or a wide that includes both the characters in one shot and just to show you where each of them are in relation to each other. But I think what saves this video is the dialogue. I like how neither side wins the argument and the punchline at the end is just hilarious. It gets a laugh out of everybody that I show this video to. But again, I think this is a perfect example of why I like to take time to work on my projects and why the time constraint for all these competitions, it's just, it holds me back a lot because that two week period just isn't enough for me sometimes. I think had I had more time to come up with a better concept or not even just come up with a better concept, but just to work on this because I worked so much on the fairy like effect that it was like 90% of my workload. I wanted to capture in a way that made the workload not so difficult so I can just go rush through it and get it done as quickly as possible. So I think had I had more time to like work on this and tweak a couple things here and there, this video would have turned out much better than it was. But that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and share. And consider following me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. I try to do a video every week. And remember to hit the bell icon to be notified when a new video goes up. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.